it's uh, December 29th and this is vlog 518. Kathy is out in the water, there's no waves, but she just wanted to get wet. It's a stunningly gorgeous day here in Malibu. Uh, this is Latigo Beach. Kathy is still out there. It's about 73 degrees winter time. I don't know. But tomorrow it's supposed to rain. is all it takes. Right there. I think that's her. Could be a rock. Not really sure. That's brisk. I didn't get wet before. It is December 29th and you're swimming in the ocean. Oh. How do you feel? Really good. <laughs> Sean and Isla are coming over for dinner because we got a bunch of stockings and presents and things that we didn't give them early on for Christmas. It's it's the 29th now, so they were up in San Francisco like we were. They just got back. Why am I explaining all this? Because Kathy's in there getting avocados because she's making salad pizza. And salad pizza is not salad pizza without avocado. Have you ever had salad pizza? It's like the thing, man. Even the dogs like it, but they're not getting it. Did you get everything you needed? Yes, I did. While we were gone in San Francisco, we got our housework done. It's being painted, being detailed, all the things that are starting to get a little bit old look really awesome now. Yes, while we were away, uh, we had the house being worked on, uh, painted, 
uh, upgraded just you know certain things that needed to get done because it was starting to look a little bit old uh, even when things start uh, like uh, falling off yeah, it's time to you know redo stuff these guys have spent the better part of the last four or five days working on uh, every single detail uh, it's looking to look really good should be done within the next day or two at the most kind of a fresh start for 2017 we got to do that sometimes we got to kind of clean sweep and uh, uh, you know whether it's clean our bathrooms or clean our offices or clean our bedrooms uh, it just feels good to get in there and and clean things up and and it's not something that we should only do at the first of the year it's something we should do all the time you know it's just uh, clean uh, clean world clean mind you know what I'm talking about and speaking of talking about things Let's talk about the Dodge for a second. Uh, we had the Dodge Durango for this last week. Uh, it, it's already gone back. I have not received a new car because it is kind of the holidays. Car, you know, and everyone's got to take a vacation and just relax. The Durango uh, certainly did the job. I think that the word for this car is capable. Yeah, it seemed capable for to do just about anything. And as SUVs go, uh, there's there's always a bit of a challenge for for certain cars. Not enough horsepower. Not enough torque. Not enough uh, seating uh, room. Not enough you know this or that. This car is capable on all fronts. There wasn't any issue I had uh, across the board with this car. 360 horsepower. Of course, a 5.7 liter V8. This version was the Citadel version, the kind of the cream of the crop, you know, the, the you know, when you get the, the, the pudding or the yogurt where they have the cream on, have you seen that? Uh, $57,000, uh, it, it, it should be cream of the crop for that price. It's pretty much everything with the car, uh, you know, uh, even the, the, the paint color, uh, I forget, what was it called, what was the paint color? Granite metallic clear coat, granite metallic, it's kind of like a rock. The only issue I had, uh, you know, driving all the way to San Francisco was we stopped a few times to get gas. It was the average 17 miles per gallon, 22 on the highway, pretty much what my truck is. But, you know, when you when you drive in a distance, you want to maybe go to the gas station once. You know, that's about it. And we kind of did that. But although maybe the gas mileage isn't supreme, it is, like I said, capable across the board to be able to handle anything. It was huge inside. Everything was thick. Everything with Dodge is kind of thick. I like that. That feels good. All right, I did get a couple of emails asking, hey, Fireball, what did you get for Christmas? Well, I'm going to tell you. Number one, big thanks to my brother-in-law, Tommy, who sent us Apple TV. I got a little box. I don't know. Some of you guys maybe have Roku or you have a, a variety of different things. You know, uh, Apple TV allows you to watch you know uh, Netflix and YouTube and all kinds of really cool stuff on you know on, on the big screen TV it's kind of cool to watch you know our vlog on the big screen if you have Apple TV or if you have Roku you know try watching the vlog on television it's freaking cool I also got a couple of things from my, my brother Sean wait hold on let me show you Like I said in yesterday's vlog, uh, my brother Sean gave me these really cool uh, light switch fixtures that go over the light switch, kind of surf themed, kind of ocean themed, very awesome. I also got a buttload of candy right there in my stash. I mean, like a closet filled with candy, the good stuff. Of course, Alexa gave me four cars. Hold on, I think that's a Toyota. Not sure what that is. GTR, Celica. I'm not sure what this one is. That looks like another Toyota. Doesn't that look like a Toyota rear end? Thank you, sweetheart. They're very awesome. Christmas time is always so much fun to be able to get gifts, you know, that everybody loves that. But giving gifts, that's what's fun for me. I really enjoy being able to give stuff to Kathy. You gotta check out what she's wearing right now. I'm wearing my new shirt that she gave me for Christmas. So cool. Cute. cute. Surf Malibu right there, buddy. Cozy. Yeah, boy. You know, she just loves that stuff. That color always looks awesome on her. Dogs are going nuts. I'm gonna wrap this vlog up with the concept of play. Uh, you know, when we were kids, we enjoyed going out and playing and, and doing art projects and all the fun stuff and kept, kind of kept us in the moment. It was something that, that we looked forward to and when parents would say, you know, dinner's gonna be at six, just go out and play. You know, that's something that you wanted to do. You wanted to enjoy that. Well, you know, our job here on the vlog is to show you that you can do that now. And the way you achieve that is not by giving up your job and just, you know, going out and playing, but to slowly fill your life full of stuff that you look forward to. You, you wake up in the morning and you, you dread some of the things that you have to do. You gotta put 
things into your day that you enjoy doing, things that you love doing. And you could also do the work too, or you could go hog wild and find a way to really love your work and at the same time go out and play. Or even so, you could actually make playing your work like we do here on the blog. Playing with cool cars, driving cool cars, doing car shows, going to the beach, building funny looking costumes, hanging out with family and friends, and just spending the day overall being awesome. So this year, for 2017, we're dedicating ourselves to showing you guys how you can make your life a weekend. Begin your day with an awesome attitude and then watch awesomeness just fold in like a big piece of bologna. Not a great reference because I'm a vegetarian. This year is gonna be awesome because I'm making it awesome. There's all kinds of really cool stuff that we're gonna be doing this year. Be sure to hang out with us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and all that cool stuff because we're pretty much everywhere. It's growing and expanding by leaps and bounds. Just 